Hi everybody, Captain Bill Safe the third. Welcome to this video edition of the Bill Safe Outdoors video series. Hey, today is all about catching kings in a variety of different circumstances. We're gonna talk about flashers that are good during the summer pattern. We're gonna talk about flashers that are excellent during the staging pattern. And we're gonna give, give you some great tips on flies, how to pick them and how to pair them up with those particular flashers because the action in today's video is fast and furious and uh, I'm really looking forward to this edition of the video installment here at Bill Safe Outdoors. Hope you'll stay with me because I think this program is going to be good. Old buddy Carl Nelson locked up right here on one that is absolutely screaming. This one's on a black eyed peas right here with a hulk fly and he's out a long ways. He's out 298 right there on the surface. Hit went straight out behind the boat, slid to the left of the Dipsy, and uh, now he's moving right in this direction. We're gonna try to take him with a diver right in the water. We'll watch him as we get a little bit closer, but 298, one more step to your left, Carl, if you would. There you go, we just got done. Tom Jones right here just got done with the big meaty right here. We hit on big white, there is a stud of a staging king. Barely got the rods back in the water. <clears throat> And that's one of the things, everybody wanted to take a picture of that fish. I said, let me get the rods back in the water over the hot bite. We had barely taken the picture and then we were off to the races here on a second king. There he is on top we're right there. With that wire in the water, so if I, you know the deal, Carl. If I tell you, hand me the rod, he's going into something, just hand it to me, I'll back spool him, I'll unknit him, and then I'll hand him right back to you. Got a good fish on right here. Slower back a little raft. I'm hoping he went on his horse here long enough that we should have burned most of the piss and vinegar off this fish. We can bring him in and uh, handle him as he gets a little closer to the closer to the boat here. We said today it's been a tough, tough trench bite, but we had a look at that sky there this morning coming out and that wind switching out of the north, Carl, and we said they might just bite today. We knew it was gonna change. Side, Carl. Find down to him. Find down to him. Stay right here. Stay right here. Raise your rod up a little bit. And keep winding. Keep coming. Come to me now. Come to me. Step over here to me. Raise your rod up. Raise it. Back it about. Back it up. Raise it down. Holy shit! It's an absolute dandy. Paula Breck on the film, there it is right there. We've got the Hulk fly in there. Black Eyed Peas been so hot for us in the past. Just a dandy king. Buddy boy. <laughs> nice. Nice job, Carl. Now we get the other charters following. <laughs> There's no question, everybody, that flashers play an important role in your fishing, whether it's your summer fishing during the hot zone, late June and July, or whether it's the staging period from mid-August till September. What we do at BSO and the flashers that that we carry and that we utilize on the boats on a daily basis is we break them into uh, 10 basic flashers, five summer patterns, five what I consider staging patterns, but there will be some crossover. Let's take a look. We've got... Uh, the dragon, we developed this 30 years ago. This dragon is silver herringbone with a green ladder back on the on the top of it. On the back side, that's UV, so we refer to that one as UV dragon. Here's the same pattern right here. It's exactly the same on the front, but it's got cracked ice glow on the back, so we refer to that as a glow dragon. Two distinct possibilities that always work well in the summer. There's the meat market. Meat market is just phenomenal. Christian Carlson at uh, Northeast Trollers helped me uh, develop some of these uh, these these patterns uh, and, and get them packaged up for us so that we have them on a daily basis to work with. That's got a UV swirl here, but uh, it's got the, the, the green panel on the front. That thing's money in the bank in summer fishery. Here's one, this one we call the treasure chest, Mountain Dew panel. It's got, uh, cracked ice glow 
uh, or excuse me, it's got uh, green glow stripe coming over the top of it. But check this out, built here on the front on a silver plate. But when we flip it, the plate is white, cracked ice glow. So this is a good high sun flasher, but it's also good down deep in the ice box when you're targeting fish that are down low. Plus the different color combinations allow you to switch and pair that up with a variety of different uh, trolling flies that we utilize. And then one of the coolest is uh, the Fat Nancy. This one's been around for quite a number of years, but 50-50 black silver, uh, green herringbone with chartreuse underneath it, straight silver on the back side. Uh, what's cool about all those panels is that they'll marry up with a variety of a variety of different BSO flies and they're going to work extremely well. Now, in the staging lineup, and not to say that this stuff can't be used in, in the summer fishery as well, but uh, let's take a variation right here. This one's called the Green Ghost, and uh, we call it Green Ghost because it's got that green edge. It's got a lead back, cracked ice glow on the front, but basically uh, on a white panel. This is a uh, uh, a variation of a spin doctor color that we've used for years successfully up on the dipsy divers and now we have it in an eight inch panel and uh, this particular plate works very well especially up on a wire dipsy diver in the, in the summertime here is uh, black eyed peas both sides that's one of the most dominant dominant staging king flashers that you can have in your arsenal along with uh, Marv's Fatty. And you'll notice those two patterns are, are, are fairly simple. Uh, green, clear green uh, plate, but cracked ice glow with, with green dots on it, both sides, Marv's, Marv's Fatty, that thing's solid. Both of those are great. Um, anybody who's fished kings in the last five years on Lake Ontario knows how important a green jeans pattern is. So that UV green jeans pattern right there with uh, with a silver back is another one that's, that's money in the back. And you can see the tendency towards greens in all of these staging uh, flashers that I'm showing you. And last but not least, our newest innovation, this one is called a Hybrid Dragon. Uh, you'll notice if I put the uh, Fat Nancy next to it, the similarity between the ladder backs on the two. But this is ladder back system of green and chartreuse is built over moon glow with uh, a lead back on the back side. And that is one of our all time, that's quick becoming one of our all time favorite flashers for uh, staging king salmon fishing or fishing kings down in the ice backs or even late season dinosaur lakers. That thing's tremendous. So those panels and those plates are the things that we use on a regular basis. Is it all that we use? Absolutely not. But they're the things that we think are absolutely critical that are that you can't do without. And that's what we're about at Build Safe Outdoors is showing you and bringing you the things that uh, absolutely work on a day-by-day -day basis. And that's what we have. Right over here on that yep. side, you got it? Yep, I got him. We've got a double going here. Go the right, Jeff. On the side of the right, I think Jeff. You rolling on it, Jimmy? I'm rolling on it. I got Jeff in the... The port corner, Jenny Lynn is in the starboard corner. We've got I a double on. I want to make sure that they don't touch each other. That's 40 feet left, Bill. Easy, easy, okay. Work here, Jen. Let me know how you can Easy, easy, easy. I'm not Okay. Keep them coming to the right. Keep them coming to the right. Wind down. That's it. Peel them back. Keep them out of her fish. Face your fish, honey. Face your fish so I can see where you're going with them. I'm ready. Slow down. Slow it down. Got no rods, easy. Easy, stop, stop. Don't straight down to them. Come to the middle so I can work them. Easy, easy. Wind down. Stop, raise your rod. Got him. There's the first king, I'm gonna dump him quick. Keep back right up, jump back up. He's already out of the net. All right. Hold that steady right there, steady as she goes. Bill, let me know where you want me to go. Come to your, face your fish, okay? Facing them. Randy, you're all clear. He's, uh, He's on the surface the back there. He's going back down. You're all right. You're all clear here. Okay. Okay, we were back with Jenny Lynn here in the middle of this double. Flash your fly combination, one of the classics going on right here. This is the Fat Nancy Flasher. We've got a Hulk hybrid fly on here. One of the great flies, a variation on our Hulk pattern. Go ahead and take that, Jimmy. You got it. 
Whichever way you got to go free. here, bud. Stay right with me. That's it. He's coming right in, yeah. Or uh, Randy's straight here at 25. We're at 9. 20, Randy. Wheel to the right, Randy. Slow her down. Woo! Slow her. Easy, easy. Oh, back him up, back him up, back him up, back him up. Got him. Nice job. Woohoo! That's the ticket. It's right a double, here. baby. There's number two. You put the bat on him. All right. So. Hold them right there. You know, there's a variety of different patterns of uh, flies that we build here at BSO, and we, we ship them to people all over the country. Um, but uh, a four pack of skirts looks like that when it comes through. This, this particular pack of skirts right there happens to be our old time favorite, what we refer to uh, as, the, uh, as the Hulk fly. Uh, here's an example. Uh, here's a hybrid dragon, and uh, that particular paddle is loaded with a Hulk fly. It's got green in the ladder back, so it's no stretch that uh, a Hulk fly would be a, a good match for that. And you'll notice in the package that those uh, those flies all kind of sit in in this fashion right here. But when they're actually on the on tied in position, you'll notice that they've got a bullet head right down in there, and they actually the fly rolls over it inverts, and that sweep in that uh, mylar is what creates that pulsing effect of, as it's getting kicked behind the flasher. So that's what that uh, hulk looks like when it's in position. So depending upon what the color combinations are in your flasher, you want to try to pick flies that are going to match up with that or be uh, typically color coded. So there's a variety of different colors and some of the hottest ones include not only that Hulk, but uh, here's a perfect example right here of a Chiquita fly. And this Chiquita fly, if you invert that and take a look at the, at the stranding and the color combinations, you have a lot of uh, chartreuse with black underlay. That thing's gonna work extremely well. Here I've got that loaded behind a Marv's Fatty, but that would be a tremendous fly to run behind a paddle like a like a treasure chest because you can see that chartreuse and how it matches up with that Mountain Dew panel that's on the top of that. So there's a great color combination that's going to work well. Here's a Fat Nancy Flasher with that green and that chartreuse. That Chiquita Fly is going to work extremely well with a flasher like that as well. Uh, the Hulk was always such a dynamic fly for us that we wanted to build a variation of that Hulk fly that would continue to work well during the staging period. So we decided to take a lot of the color patterns that we had in the Hulk, but add in a little bit of glow and add in a little bit of black. And now we have a fly that we refer to as the Hulk hybrid. So imagine that Hulk hybrid and those color combinations being paired with a black eyed peas. That Hulk hybrid, imagine that being paired with uh, a hybrid dragon. Imagine that Hulk hybrid being paired with a UV, UV green jeans. All of those combinations are going to work uh, extremely well with them. I'm looking here on the table in front of me and uh, Glow Reaper. As we get later in the season into the staging period, one of the things that I've always talked about in our videos is that fish will begin to move off those green patterns and into a yellow or chartreuse. So if you look at this in the folded position of that fly, you can see all the chartreuse that's around it with green and glow buried in the center. Well, when that fly inverts and we get into the position that it's being trolled, you still have that green, you still have that glow, but you have the underlayment of that chartreuse um, showing through and that is a perfect example of a glow reaper and that glow reaper is going to fish extremely well with the chartreuse here that glow reaper would also fish extremely well with the green let's say we got uh, a hot sunny situation and we were running basic whites in the morning um, in low light conditions where we're trying to charge up a flasher 
that one or a black eyed peas but then the sun gets high and it gets flat why not keep the glow reaper on and roll it into the pattern behind a meat market in high sun that meat market in high sun is going to do an absolutely phenomenal job and then uh, you know we've got a variety of all those different colors but reaper moon eye chiquita hulk uh hulk hybrid and then uh, one of the newest if we're fishing you know a summer pattern and we want to do something very very unique this is one that i really really like and it's getting away from the greens but this particular uh, fly right here we did extremely well with this one's called defcon 5 and that's what it looks like in the folded position but when you turn that thing over man you've got uh, little boy blue in there you've got mirage you've got uh, pink and you've got black and even with green and a paddle if you if you put that fly right there behind uh, a uv dragon with that uv panel on the back check that fly out and what it looks like against the back side that uv panel of that of that dragon you've got a killer summer combination you got a killer highlight combination uh even even during the staging period if things get a little wonky on you in the middle of the day so looking uh at proper fly layups color combinations and matching those to the flashers that we're actually using is uh <clears throat> critical now you can get those pre-tied or you can get them in four packs here's what that uh there's what a four pack of defcon fives looks like here's a four pack of hulks we've got those in every color combination that we make or you can order f uh flasher flies in combination where uh we lay that fly up and we do uh, a tournament rigging on the fly and all that is is this setup and scenario right here you can see the uh, co-filament line that's out here to the side we don't use um, fluorocarbon we use 50 pound test uh, trilene big game that's the stuff that we're using right there we've used it forever and uh, that will eliminate your your break offs that stuff is extremely tough it's not uh, as uh, as fragile and it doesn't have that funny tensile strength that uh, uh, fluorocarbon does uh, it's going to give you many more fish catches before it's jeopardized and you have to change it but let's look at the business end of that fly that right there is a number one adia hercules hook that's number two strength and uh, we've got that uh, we've got that snelled we've got two or three red ceramic glass beads uh, down here between this and a number three uh, eagle claw octopus hook that's the tournament rig right there then the fly comes down and it butts up against that each one of these flies is loaded with a little over 36 inches of that cold filament 50 pound test and the reason is if you want to cut it back to 21 or 22 inches to be run behind an eight inch paddle you can certainly go ahead and do that but if you want to run a full 36 inches behind an 11 inch paddle uh later in the staging period there's enough that comes preloaded with enough uh, big game in order for you to tie it in that in that longer length but that's the deal right there Adia number one two or three beads in between that a number three uh, eagle claw octopus hook and then that fly is threaded on in this fashion so that when it's actually trolled it inverts the bullets forward and you get that good pulsing action of the fly that's a good look right there at a glow reaper how it's laid up from a tournament standpoint and that's how we put those flies together and select um, what we're going to use on uh, any given day when we're fishing these games locked up on a good king right here working in the trench you can see the heavy weather coming in right here we've got a good fish on he's way out here out to the side we've had this fish on for quite a while he's rolled on a on a big johnny special lighted in the middle with a hulk fly excuse me with a <clears throat> glow reaper fly at 36 inches 
This fish is passing the boat. We're loaded right here with a cowbell and an iron decoy spoon here, a lemon lime bell with an iron decoy spoon, and out here we're running Marv's Big Fatty with a meat rig right here at 265 on this wire. Roxanne's got this fish on. She's just keeping steady pressure on it right now. <clears throat> a little bit to the right, Bill. What's your depth? One or two, but I got a boat right in front of me. All right, that's okay. Come to the right. That's Quaddy. Aim for his transom. Okay. He'll go around you. Get this uh, cowbell out of your way. Good. Bring this baby in. All right. See what we stay got. right there on him if you would, Meredith. You got it. Oh, that's a point. You're going to stay right here, right up tight against me, right here in the right, court, Ross, right, right over on my guy. Nice king. That a girl. There he is, right? Big oh, king. Wide nice down. Fish. Nice fish, honey. Nice fish right over there. Meredith, Mer you come right over the shoulder if you want. Keep winding on him. Oh, wind, wind, wind that. When that flasher pops out of the water, you'll feel a moment of release, but that doesn't mean he came off. Just stay tight on him. Good fish. You can see that chartreuse blade. That's a big 11 inch lighted blade. That's a Pro Troll flasher with a LED light in it. We don't want to touch anything mechanical. Okay, wind down, wind. Quick, quickly, quickly. Okay, quickly, just like that. Wind and wind. Raise your rod tip. Raise it back up in the boat, my dear. Back up, back up. Oh my gosh. See how big that right. thing was? Hold tight right there. Came in nice and easy. And the reason, oh, the reason right, that fish came in nice and easy is because we burned all the pressure off that fish Woo. while he was out at a distance. And that's the key when you're fishing these staging kings. You don't want them in the middle of the program when uh, when they're green. So she did a great job. Good job, my dear. Buddy. Look at that baby. Right Look. That. That's Hold that. Paddle right there for me. Oh, Just like man. that. Here's that glow reaper fly. You can see that we're using that on. Check it out, guys. That is there it is right there. Look at the size of that king. That's the name of the tune. So yeah. we well done. Uh, That's the way it works, guys. Wait, 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 Good wait, wait, job. I gotta get a photograph of her. Awesome. Right, wait, Billy. Woo! Beauty. What a fantastic King Roxanne, and no surprise that it came on a flasher fly combination. Flashers and flies have earned their reputation as top salmon takers throughout the Great Lakes chain. I hope you enjoyed the tips and techniques that we shared today, and also the combinations of flashers and flies that we fish with the Bill Safe Outdoors team. Most of those combinations we vetted over 40 plus years of plying the waters of Lake Ontario. Please subscribe to us here at the Bill Safe Outdoors channel on YouTube as we bring you new and exciting videos on Great Lakes fishing. I'm Captain Bill Safe III. I hope you join me again here next time. Thanks for watching.